Joanna was born on 6 November 1479 in the city of Toledo in the Kingdom of Castile. Her parents were Isabella I of Castile and Ferdinand II of Aragon who were both members of the House of Trastamara. She had two older siblings, Isabella, Queen of Portugal and John, Prince of Asturias and two younger sisters Maria, who would follow in the footsteps of her older sister becoming Queen of Portugal, and Catherine who would become Henry VIII's first wife and Queen of England. Joanna was raised and educated by her mother Isabella for the sole purpose of a royal marriage in order to secure strategic alliances for Castile and Spain. Being the third child of Isabella and Ferdinand, it would have been thought that she would never ascend to the throne, but due to untimely deaths she would eventually inherit the thrones of Castile and Aragon. She has a broad education for a lady at the Castilian court at the time and amongst her educators was her own mother. The royal education she would have received at the time included court etiquette, dancing, drawing, equestrian skills, good manners, dancing and music, and embroidery and sewing. She would also be educated in many languages including Castilian, Leonese, Galician Portuguese, Catalan, French, and Latin. Joanna though would grow weary and show skepticism of the devoutness of her mother's religion. Isabella, who established the Spanish Inquisition in 1478 to rid the country of heretics, an act that was tantamount to genocide. Joanna's rebellion against her race would see her tortured for her act, probably during 1495, when she would be suspended from the ceiling by ropes with weights attached to her feet. When Joanna reached the age of 16, the role she had been brought up for was brought into effect when she would be betrothed to Philip of Flanders. Philip was 18 years old and son of the Holy Roman Emperor, Maximilian I thus creating a political alliance between two great empires in Europe and joining the Spanish House of Trastamaras with the Holy Roman Empire family of the Habsburgs. Joanna would be married by proxy to Philip at the Palacio de los Vivero in Valladolid. In August 1496 she would leave Spain to arrive in Flanders and the travel on to modern-day Germany where she arrived on the 22nd of August. Two months later, she would formally marry Philip on the 20th of October 1496 in a town near modern-day Brussels in Belgium. Joanna would have six children with Philip, all would become queens or emperors of Europe. Although, a princess of Castile and fourth in line to the Spanish throne the dice of fate would roll in Joanna's favor. Her oldest sibling and brother would die without a surviving heir. The Joanna's older sister Isabella and Isabella's son, Miguel would both pass away. Leaving Joanna as next in line to the throne in 1502 as her two sisters were both younger than herself. Joanna, would be recognized as the heir, and named as the Princess of Asturias, the title given to the heir to the throne, in 1502 at the Castilian Cortes of Toro and would also receive fealty from the Cortes of Castile and Toldeo. Philip was also recognized as her consort. Later that year, Philip would return to the Holy Roman Empire leaving Joanna in Madrid. At this time, Joanna was pregnant with their fourth child, who would become Holy Roman Emperor, Ferdinand I. In November 1504, Joanna's mother, Queen Isabella died. Joanna would become Queen of Castile. Her father, Ferdinand II would lose his status in Castile but remain as monarch in Castile. There were though still conditions which Ferdinand could still take control including if Joanna was absent from court or if Joanna did not want to rule. The situation would create great political tensions, with Ferdinand refusing to accept the succession. Both Ferdinand, and Joanna and Philip would mint coins to lay claim to throne of Castile. 
Ferdinand would even go as far as to marry the niece of King Louis XII of France with the plan of producing an heir for Aragon and maybe even for Castile. The situation also caused tension in the marriage of Joanna and Philip, as Joanna was reluctant to act against her father, whilst Philip wanted to cement their claim to the Spanish throne. Philip would even go as far as to keep Joanna in confinement whilst she resided in the Holy Roman Emperor. Joanna though would find assistance from her father-in-law, Maximilian, who advised his son that to succeed as a monarch a husband and wife must be one. Joanna's support to the throne was strengthened by the population in Castile. So, in 1505 Joanna and Philip would set sail for Castile. Signs of Joanna's jealousy were evident on this trip as she did not allow any female attendants to board the ship so there was nothing to tempt Philip into an affair. Their trip was not an easy one, first their ships were damaged and then needed to seek refuge in England, and stayed with Joanna's sister Catherine of Aragon and her husband, Henry, Prince of Wales, who would become Henry VIII. This would be the only time Joanna would see one of her sisters since her marriage to Philip. After leaving England, they wished to land in Andalusia in southern Spain, but were eventually forced to land in La Coruña in Galicia on the northwest coast of Spain on 26 April 1505. In an attempt ahead of a civil war, Philip would meet Ferdinand in the village church at Villa Farfila for a private meeting on 27 June 1506. Initially an agreement was signed that Ferdinand would retire to Aragon and agree to allow Philip to rule Castile alone preventing Joanna to take her place as queen and in government. Then on the same day Ferdinand went back on his word and declared Joanna should not be prevented from taking her rightful place as queen of Castile. Ferdinand would leave for Aragon two weeks later with no new agreement with Philip but keep his right to interfere should Joanna's rights as queen be denied. The procurators of Cortes would swear an allegiance to Philip I and Joanna as the King and Queen of Spain in Valladolid on 12 July 1506. They would also swear an allegiance to their son, who would become King Charles I of Castile, Leon and Aragon and Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor. Just over two months later, on 25 September 1506, Philip would die after being ill with typhoid for five days in Burgos. Castile. At this time, Joanna was pregnant with their sixth and last child who would become, Catherine, Queen of Portugal. The death of Philip would see the country of Spain fall into chaos. By the 20th of December 1506 Joanna was trying to rule the country alone as Queen. Her son, Charles, was only six years old and still in the care of relatives in the Holy Roman Empire. Her father, Ferdinand II, remained in arrogant content in letting the situation grow worse. Joanna was unable to raise the money to secure the money to secure the throne and the population would be reduced by 50% by a disease and feminine. Her father, Ferdinand II would return to Castile in July 1507 where the disease and famine would diminish and stability would return to the kingdom. On his return to Castile in July 1507, Ferdinand would meet with his daughter, Joanna at Horny Eos in Castile at the end of the month. Joanna would be forced to relinquish her powers over the kingdoms of Castile and Leon to her father. She would remain in the position of queen by name only. Joanna would be imprisoned by her father after he had dismissed all her servants at the royal palace in Torsasias near Valladolid in Castile in February 1509. It is around this time, that her sanity was called into question, as she would keep her husband's corpse, Philip, close to her at Torsasias. Joanna's father, Ferdinand would pass away on 23 January 1516. Joanna's son, the 17-year-old Charles I would arrive in Spain in October the 15th to the 17th. In name, Joanna and Charles would co-rule Castile, Leon, and Aragon, but no one at court would take seriously Joanna's claim to rule. 
Joanna at this time would also remain in confinement at Dorsasias. Charles I would initially rule the kingdoms of Spain unifying them with the Holy Roman Empire, a union which would last until the 18th century. Although, Charles' personal union would with the Holy Roman Empire would be dissolved and he would rule Spain alone, whilst his brother Ferdinand would rule the Holy Roman Empire. During 1520, the country of Spain would be once again in turmoil, as the Comuneros, Catholics in Spain, who would revolt against Charles I, perceiving him as a Habsburg threat from the Holy Roman Empire over the Spanish Kingdom. The Cumuneros sought Joanna's support to solidify and legalize their claim. The Bishop of Toledo, Don Antonio de Rojas Manrique attempted to prevent this by trying to get Joanna to denounce the revolt. Joanna would be eventually persuaded not to support the revolt as it would damage both the country and her son's claim to the throne. Charles I would eventually defeat the Cumeneros at the Battle of Villela. After the battle, Charles would completely dominate Spain and would have his mother confined for the rest of her life at Torsasias. Her imprisonment would lead to paranoia, as she believed that the nuns that were caring for her were trying to kill her. This led to her being unable to eat, sleep, wash or to change her clothes. Joanna's physical state would also soon decline rapidly. She would pass away on Good Friday, the 12th of April 15 to 55 at the age of 75 at her place of confinement for over 45 years at the Royal Palace of Torsasias. She would be buried alongside her husband, Philip I and both her parents, Isabella I and Ferdinand II in the Royal Chapel of Granada. Joanna would always been remembered in history as Joanna the Mad but there are historians who argued that this is not the case. In her youth, she was always regarded as a very intelligent young lady, but it is not until her marriage to Philip the Handsome that her mental state came into question. There are those that believe that her condition was manipulated by both her father and her husband as an attempt to alienate her in order to control Spain. <laughs>